These aren't the grasses that you got to mow twice a week and fertilize all the time. These are ornamental grasses. Angelo, Hi, Mark. great for landscaping. So much usage for these ornamental grasses. You know, the, the expansion of ornamental grasses in our landscape has just been quite amazing. The last 10, 15 years, it just got better and better. A lot of new varieties have come on. Uh, you can actually go from very, very low. Very to a, low to the front of the to border. Very too. high. And I mean, or, some of these get six feet tall. Or taller. And you can also use them for centerpieces, a centerpiece of a bed. Sure. You can use them for privacy edge. And I love the different styles you got. You got the long, tall green grasses. Look yeah. at the variegated The variegated grasses. one. And, you know, if you have a hill, there's some that they're a little bit more on the invasive side. Sure. That you can get, uh, you know, a lot of coverage. Even a little purple in here. I like this. The little tiger grass here. And you know, one of the nice things that you want to do is just make sure you don't cut them back early. Leave them on all fall. Okay. By you leaving them on, you know, through the winter, uh, you know, they, you know, it takes till about March for them to really disintegrate down. Sure. Cut them in spring. And it gives you a lot of texture in the winter time when there's really not much to look at out there. So Perfect. Don't um, don't just cut. You know, comes in the fall, cut them back because they are quite nice to, to have there. But, uh, you, you know, just enjoy them and, and kind of use, a, you know, find a, a, re a real good placement where you can see them from the house. Sure. Uh, they will give you a, a lot of enjoyment throughout the summer and, uh, and fall. Excellent ornamental grasses. Thanks, Angela. Thanks, Mark.